Okay, this is um, chapter 7 review assignment and this is the solution for number 2. So it says the sum of the measures of 5 of the angles of an octagon, so octagon has 8 sides, is 540. What conclusion can you draw about the octagon? So let's take a look at what we do know about uh, all the angles of an octagon. So if, if it um, is an octagon, we know that the sum of the, all the interior angles is going to be 8 minus 2 times 180. So that's 6 times 180. 6 times 180 is uh, 1080 degrees. Okay, and we know that 5 of the angles is equal to 540. So if I subtract these, let's just see what we have. That would mean that the remaining three angles add 2. So 1080 minus 540 is also 540. So we have three angles that add up to 540 just uh, for the sake of figuring out um, an average. So the average for the three remaining angles would have to be 540 divided by 3, which is 180. Okay, so we know in a polygon you can't have any angles that are 180. So if I have an octagon and I know five of the angles add up to 540, what that means is one of the angles inside has to be more than 180. So this is kind of a weird concept for us. So what that means is I've got one, two, three, four. I've got five sides. And the only way to get the remaining three to also be equal to 540 so that the sum of the angles adds up to uh, 1080 is for um, the polygon to be non-convex or concave. So here's five of the sides. The other remaining three sides have to go something like this. So that now I've got two angles in here. Actually, it doesn't even have to look like that. It could look like this. Okay. So I've got one angle in here that's going to be more than 180. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four. We could say this one is five. Those five angles add up to 540. And then we don't know that they're congruent. And then the remaining three angles have to also add up to 540. So I know that um, at least one of these angles has to be more than 180, meaning so therefore octagon must be concave. So that's really all they're looking for in this problem.